Peggy 16. Hello UK, I'm Jessica Chobot, and on this For the Win, we get tips on how to succeed at Titanfall from the team here at the Respawn Entertainment Studio in Los Angeles. So being that you're the grand pooba of this place and the game is right around the corner, what are some tips for people at home? I like to go with don't die, kill a lot. I like where your head's at. I watch people play all the time. Everybody wants to play like they are playing a very linear shooter and they will like duck behind things for cover and then pop out and like shoot a guy and then pop back and, and you just want to get up on the walls and moving and experimenting with that as soon as possible. Instead of thinking about slicing the pie around a corner and trying to see what's around that corner, just think vertical and just go over everything. Another key tip is actually when you're fighting the Titan, you need to really think more in terms of not just charging in and you have to think more in terms of a measured approach of attacking and protecting yourself. If somebody is rodeoing you, which is when they jump on your back and yeah. start you know, ripping stuff off your Titan, there's all these sort of tactics for, for getting rid of players on your back. If you jump up and just jump kick the guy off, it's pretty satisfying. Um, if you're a pilot, is there any specific gun that you recommend for a pilot to pick up in order to take down a Titan? And if you want to take advantage of the chaos, you'd want to take the Archer Heavy Rocket. Mm -hmm. It's something that locks on from a distance. Once you have a lock, it's going to go after the guy. If you want to get a little more uh, risky about it, you want to move in close to the Titan, you can pull out the Sidewinder, and the Sidewinder will allow you to fire a lot of small rockets very quickly at the Titan. But you have to have direct the line of sight, there's a bit of travel time, so you've got to lead substantially. The closer you get, the less you have to lead, but the more likely you might get stepped on or uh, spotted by that Titan. As a guy running around on foot on the ground, you want to probably try the Smart Pistol first, get a sense of how that works. It's a primary pistol that will auto-lock onto targets. You, you, get, you can walk into a room of like five grunts. You can try different experiments like running on the walls and locking onto people as you shoot them or sailing through the air and aiming down at them. Lock, 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 bang, dot, 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 dot. They all go down. <laughs> so, nice. So there's cool tricks you can play with the smart pistol. It's a, it's a different kind of. So what's the quickest way to level up? The quickest way to level up, a, you know, in this particular case, a weapon, is to go after the AI in the environment. And you're, when you're doing that, you're more visible with a loud gun. So you're gonna to wanna to also not only go after them, but try to find the quickest way to level up that weapon to a silencer so you can stay off the radar and still go after that AI. So what's the difference between a grunt and a specter? So uh, grunts are, are sort of just military looking guys that you'll see running around the level. I like to use them, especially when you're playing hard points, to walk in ahead of me so that who, who is ever waiting for people to come into the hard point will shoot them and then I'll take him out as he shoots them. We do have these human sized robots called specters uh -huh. uh, and they are AI controlled and they're a step up from the normal grunts. They have different mobility, they can jump on top of buildings, um, they are harder to kill, and uh, they have more advanced weaponry. You'll see them trying to take down titans. Uh, they move in packs, but since they're robots, they're hackable. So the data knife is, uh, you slam it in the back of the, their head, and you'll reprogram them so that they will then fight for you. Well, one of the things that's uh, kind of an advanced move that we don't teach too much mm -hmm. is what we call the wall hang. As a pilot, when you're wall running, you can uh, hold left trigger and slam your knife into the wall and you'll hang there, kind of like Spider-Man. And so it's really good to run into a room if someone's chasing you, jump up above the door you just came through, hang down and rain down death on the guy who's trying to chase on you. If you're hurting for health and you all of a sudden find yourself in a room of specters, it, it might not go very well for you. <laughs> Especially if you get meleeed by the by the AI, because that is really hard. Is it kind of, I was going to say, is it more of an insult than the injury itself? Pretty humiliating. The only thing more humiliating is if someone drops a Titan on you. Oh, you can do that? Mm -hmm. How detailed can you get with that drop? Because I thought it was just a drop in general. There is a pretty decent amount of control you have over it. It's where you're looking on the ground and where you're looking where you want to do it. So it is a thing you do on purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, when the higher levels of play, it's definitely a, a tactic to be used. So you can try to lure people in by sort of standing there and, and, and shooting and hoping they walk over to come get you and then landing a Titan on them. Sometimes it happens by happy accident. That is so um, Or mean. if you see like a big, you know, Titan fight going down in the middle of the street, you might run over to where that's happening and try to call your Titan down on top of it. So yeah, there's some, there's some dirty tricks you can play. So that's got to be an achievement. Maybe. I mean, come on. Dude, it is, so it is about mean. the most satisfying thing that you can do in the game. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, 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 hey,